listen to that 305 with 400,000 kilometers on it for like a kid. Today on the Belsa Show, I'm back at this thing again. I'm in the engine compartment as you can see because you know the good old Chevy with the winter fender wells has uh, lots of uh, lots of seating room as you can see. But I'm down here and I got the spark plugs in as you've seen. Painted the engine flat black as you've seen just to make her look real fancy and stuff for now. What do you think? Do you think it looks fancy? I don't. I had a misfire number seven still with new spark plugs in there so I ended up getting myself a new distributor cap, new router, cleaned up the wires and checked them and everything seems good on the wires. So now I'm just basically in the middle of putting the other wires back in on this side, which are never fun because there's not a hell of a lot of room in here, Jim. Well, there's not a lot of room to get your hand in behind here, Jim, I should say, because you gotta go in behind all this stuff. Figured I'd bring it along with me so you can see what's really going on. Cause that's the way I am and why wouldn't I, right? I'm probably running this through. I just finished doing another coat of paint on this firewall, so the plugs I just cleaned are probably going to get all cocked over and covered in black paint again, but hey, it is what it is. It's just the old motor. This ain't the new one, Jim. It's the old one. But I'm a firm believer in using the factory clips you came with, and as you can see, I went around the wrong spot here. You're supposed to go the other way on the dipstick tube, which is no big deal. We'll just do one of them. Straighten the wires out. There we go. Slide her down under here, maybe. Yep, there we go. And clip her in. Maybe. A lot of maybes going on over here. It worked. Friggin' right it worked. So there we go. That wasn't too bad. Not at all. It wasn't. So we clip the wires on the side here. I don't know if you can see or not. I got this new spark plug back in again. I took them out again and double checked the gap on the spark plugs and stuff like that. So they're all good. Plug these back in. There we go. One more, boys. We'll be done. Girls, peoples. If we can get to it. This one's a hard one to get to. This is the one that's behind the header. I got her, holy cow, can you believe it? I sure can't. That one's a little long, so we're gonna have to shorten that one. Might have to readjust these a little bit just because, second one from the bottom, Jim. This guy, there we go. All right, okay, now that we got our wires back in, as you see, we gotta put them back on the old distributor. So we know this is number one, and it's nice to know what the firing order of a small block Chevy is because it helps you a lot. So we're gonna go with 18536. We're gonna go with 18536. 18153572. Does that sound right? I don't know. Might be. So we're gonna go 18, number eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is this one over here. So the last one on the dipstick, which is this guy right here, eight. Then we're gonna go with the number 184, which is the second one down right here. So we'll go 184 on this one. 1843, and we want number three, one, two, three, which is one, one, two, three, which is second one down again. Wait a minute here. What have I done wrong? Hold on. Get that out of there. One, eight, eight. One, eight, one, eight, five, three. No, shit. Now I don't know what the firing order is. I said it too many times. One, eight, four, one, eight, five, three, six. Oh, one, eight, four, three, six, five, seven, two. One, eight, four, one, eight. One, two, three. This is number four, right here. So one, eight, four. I was right. Three. One, eight, four, three. Second one down. Five, five. Third one down. Seven, two. One, eight, four, three, six, five, seven. Two. And then two. What do you think? Do you think I got it right? Oh, Frank, we're gonna find out here shortly. Oh, I forgot one. What's this one? Ah, oh, dick. One, eight, four, three, six, five, seven, two. Okay, I'm wrong. Back off the throttle here. Oh my God. One, yes. Eight, yes. Four, yes. Three, yes. Eight, three. No, that was wrong. One, eight, four, three, six, five, seven. And this is number two over here. So seven and two. This thing ain't gonna run. 
Well, let's see if we got it right. I'm not gonna double check it because I don't freaking want to. I just gotta get the hell out of here, Jim. Let me tell you what though. God, I hope this thing doesn't misfire number seven still. Hope it even runs. That'd be the next best thing. I'll know right away if it's wrong. Oh, better move my coffee from the coffee holder here. Ready to see if I got it wrong or right? Leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. It's primer a couple times. And here we go. You got it wrong, Jim. Okay, are you ready? Think we got her? Leave your comments down below. Listen to her purr, Jim. You're not missing on number seven now. We got heat, 160. 180, 160, 190, 190. 218, 2, 250. We're all about 200 now. We got her, Jim. She's freaking firing on all cylinders, Captain. Oh, yeah, you can tell. Listen to her. She sounds like a kitten now. Tell you freaking kid. Beautiful thing we've done here today. No 305 is going to start burning out shit in a minute. Woo! Thank you. Look at that thing following the floor over there. There she is, Jim. One way to dry the paint, start the engine. She's purring now. Oh yeah, she is. Like a kitten. She's even leaking water on her. That's a good sign. Condensation. Woo. Always go over and check your spark plug wires to make sure they're not touching the headers too. That's always a good thing to do, maybe. She needed a new distributor cap and cleaning. I knew when I opened her up she looked kind of rough. There we go, what do you think of that, eh? Now it's running again, I can back her up, get the fender wells out, and maybe start painting that thing. That'd be alright. I put some high test in her today. $30 for not very much. Wow, that old girl sounds pretty good for 400,000 kilometers. Not miles, kilometers. She sounds pretty good, she does. What are you running for heat here? 480, 5, 490, 5, 5. We got one that's really hot. But they're all around 500. We're firing at all eight. Brought to you by Snap On. Why wouldn't it? So maybe tomorrow, not today, but maybe tomorrow we'll get the truck out of here and make the fender well. And maybe get them swapped back in this week. Now that I've kind of done most of the tune up, I still got to change oil, but they need a drop paint for that. So we got new plugs, new distributor cap, new rotor, and wires. I checked them with the old meter and they're fit. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification because look at this stuff I do for you guys. Hey, it's awesome. Glad you're all here. Welcome in new subscribers to the channel. I'm going to let this thing warm up real good. Shut her down and call her a day. I love y'all, and until next time, you know what to do for now.